Hi friends, welcome to this presentation on introduction to demo that is diesel electric multiple unit. I am Avinash Prakash working as professor diesel traction in Edmi. So basically this is only a introductory session on demo and I have restricted my presentation from going into the details of the system which will become technical and require much more time for better appreciation. So let's uh, we go. Demo. Demo stands for Teaser Electrical Multiple Unit and EMU or Oblique Memo stands for Mainline Electric Multiple Unit and both are Rapid Transit Train operated by Indian Railways on Suburban Network. Demo and Memo are examples of multiple unit which are self propelled trains train carriages which when coupled with other multiple units can be controlled by a single terminal in this lecture let's focus on demo only a diesel diesel multiple unit or demo is a multiple unit train powered by onboard diesel engine a demo requires no separate locomotive as the engines are incorporated into one or more of the carriages. The diesel engine is located above the frame in a engine bay. Driving controls are on the both ends. The primary fuel source in demo is diesel. The Indian Railway presently runs three types of demo trains. 6 coach with 700 horsepower secondly 8 coach with 1400 horsepower and third one 10 coach with 1600 hp given the focus indian railway is giving for demos the project is going on for upgrading the power rating to 2200 hp for higher speed demos Digital electrical multiple units fitted with 700 HP was introduced in 1994 by ICF Integral Coach Factory Chennai for improving passenger services in non-electrified routes. The 1400 HP demo was introduced in the year 2002 to replace the slow-moving locomotive hauled pull trains in non electrified routes of metro cities. The 1600 demo, 1600 HP demo was introduced uh, in the year 2016 with ACAC transmission, which we will discuss later on. Apart from non-electrified plain regions and low traffic density branch line services where demo are very frequent in service, some important demo services are between Banihal in Jammu region and Kajigund in Kashmir which was flagged off in June 2013 and which is working at near zero temperature in most part of the year. Indian Railway recently also flags off first demo train services in Tripura Dharmnagar subroom from October 4, 2019 in extreme northeastern part of India. Let's now consider some of the advantages of demo in next slide. So we have uh, three type of demos uh, we discussed 700 HP, 1400 HP and 1600 HP. At present uh, all of 
the 700 hp is uh, obsolete one now and uh, it is being manufactured 1400 hp and 1600 hp demo is being manufactured presently at uh, icf integral coach factory chennai engine regarding engine is concerned we have uh, Cummins uh, made engine in 700 HP demo and 1400 HP demo. In 1600 HP demo, we have uh, both kind of engines, uh, both from either either from Cummins or Caterpillar. Regarding transmission is concerned, in 700 HP demo and 1400 HP demo, we have AC DC transmission. This means that uh, AC power is being generated from the diesel engine. To an alternator, and this AC power is being converted into DC power, which is being supplied to the DC motors fitted on the axle, wheel axle. In AC-AC transmission uh, that is being fitted on in 1600 HP demo, here AC power is generated, which is converted to DC, and again AC and being supplied to the AC induction motors on the wheel, so we, which we will discuss here later on. Bogie, we have BO BO type bogie. Each bogie has two axle, and each car has two bogies. To total four axle, so four traction motors are mounted on four axle independently, and they are power powered parallelly. A factory has been set up at Haldia, West Bengal. For furnishing of 100 diesel electrical multiple units coaches for every year. This is a typical 1400 HP demo running on our railway system. It consists of two unit, which each unit has one DPC and three TC. You can see here the aerodynamic shape of the front power car to minimize the loss of power due to air resistance. It also adds to aesthetic look of the rig. Drivers also feel very comfortable in train working as wide view is available in front of him. So now let's consider some of the advantages of demo. The local passenger services for running shorter distance up to a maximum of 200 kilometers are ideally suited for demo type trains. Due to its inherent advantages, 1400 HP demo has been inducted in Indian Railways to replace the existing slow-moving loco hauled passenger trains in non-electrified mainline sections and also for low traffic density branch line services. The high acceleration and high deceleration potential of demo makes them suitable to work as fast passenger transportation service between cities that means quick pick up of speed and shorter emergency braking distance without passenger discomfort second as the demo train can operate in both directions so it doesn't require any reversal at the terminal stations so big relief to traffic department as no shunting is required so it is a saving of time engine path crew and many things other advantages are highly fuel efficient traction spacious with more passenger carrying capacity than the local passenger trains electro pneumatic brakes which we will discuss later on flexibility of splitting of or combining unit we will be discussing it shortly low capital and maintenance costs efficient use of rolling stock low maintenance ac ac transmission that is in 1600 hp demo this ac ac transmission system provides improvement in reliability haulage capability and reduction in maintenance one unit of demo may consists consists of following type of coaches driving power car so in short we call it dpc trailer car tc 
driving trailer car DTC. So a demo can be a combination of this type of coaches. Let's see one by one. DPC. Driving power car is a coach that houses the diesel electric power plant. Around 50% of the coach space is occupied by the plant that is power plant and balance is for the passengers. It has one control station. The control station is used when the train is moving in the direction where the DPC is leading. So it consists of a driver cab and behind it we have a diesel power plant complete set and 50% of the space is left for passengers. So that is the DPC. Here let's consider a unit of DPC, TC and DTC. Four traction motors are mounted on each axle of DPC bogies for running of demo. This is a power producing unit. Whereas TC and DTC has non-driving bogies. So this is just a pictorial diagram. TC, trailer car. Trailer car is nothing but a simple coach that is meant only for passengers. The power car is provided with 20 ton axle load bogey whereas trailer car is fitted with 16 uh, ton axle load bogies suitable for mainline coaches. So the DPC is of 20 ton axle load and DTC is 1600 ton, 16 ton axle load and it is uh, meant only for passengers. DTC driving trailer coach. Driving trailer coach is also a coach meant only for passengers. However, one end of this coach has parallel operator control station. This is used by the operator when the train is moving in the direction where DTC is the leading coach. Multiple operations of demo is possible up to four units so as to meet varying demand of traffic existing in the sections. So a demo can be a combination of DPC, DC and DTC as per our requirement, but a maximum four unit of a set DTC, TC and DTC is called a unit. So maximum four unit can be combined together to form a demo rig. So let's uh, see in next slide that is uh, running in our system. The 700 HP demo are often seen in three car units with one DPC, one TC and one DTC each. Where the traffic is higher, demo formation usually consists of six, sometimes nine cars with two power cars, one at either end or maybe upgraded to 12 cars. So three into four maximum 12 cars we can add to make a, to form a demo rig. The 1400 HP demos are often seen in four car units, which is one DPC and three TC. Demo formations usually consist of eight cars with two power cars at either end, and it may be upgraded, upgraded to 16 cars. Maximum speed 105 kmph. The 1600 HP demos are often seen in five car units. As we, as the power is, uh, the power capacity is increasing, the capacity to increase the number of car per unit is increased, can be increased. So 1600 HP demos are often seen in five car units with one, with one DPC and four TC. Demo formation usually consists of 10 cars 
it's two power car at the, the either end and it may be upgraded to 20 cars maximum speed permissible is 120 kmph see some parameters of 1400 hp demo as already already we have discussed that it consists either one dpc 2tc and one dtc as a unit or one dpc plus 3tc as a unit estimated service weight 180 ton per unit dense cross load for four coach train formation 260 ton for eight coach, coach train formation 520 ton for 12 coach train formation 780 ton for 16 coach train formation 1040 ton wheel arrangement of power car that is of dpc is bobo all axles independently powered power transmission is electrical ac to dc we are generating ac power and converting it to uh, into dc power which is being supplied to traction motor speed limit we have 100 kmph limit although it is capable to run at 110 kmph and it uh, at full rated output of 1400 hp the engine rpm rotation per minute is 1800 the engine is of cummins make the model is kta 50l we also have auxiliary generator apart from the main alternator that is built driven from traction alternator shaft compressor we have for uh, air brake system which are generating air compressed air at at 5 kg to used to be used as a brake braking in braking system it is built driven at the non traction alternator end of the engine other parameters maximum axle load 20 ton for dpc 16 ton for tc and dtc since the, any dpc tc or dtc have four axles so we can multiply the axle load with number of axles to get the total carrying capacity so dpc will be having 80 ton carrying capacity tc and dtc will be having 64 ton capacity wheel diameter 952 mm for new wheels and 877 mm for fully worn wheels effective traction power output of diesel engine is 1317 brake horsepower gear ratio 20 is to 91 this gear ratio is basically it is the ratio of teeth of gears that is engaged at the axle and motor motor has a pinion and we have a bull gear on the axle which engages to rotate the axle so there we have the gear ratio of 20 is to 91 regarding engine is concerned we have four stroke engine most of you may be knowing that in uh, engine we have uh, basically two type two stroke or four stroke so this is a four stroke engine in which four processes suction compression power and exhaust all these process happen in separate stock and uh, total number of cylinders we have 16 the compression ratio is 13.1 is to 1 the compression ratio is basically the ratio of the clearance volume by total volume this is a quite technical i am not going into the detail here are some major components of demo first is power pack that is producing power we have traction alternator that converts the mechanical power that is in terms of output of rotation of crankshaft into alternating current 
AC power. This AC power is rectified to DC DC current in rectifier, which is supplied to the traction motor to control the input of power to the traction motor and also to limit the power generation of, from alternator as per the requirement of our uh, load there is a control system which basically control everything to keep the system running and we have specular coupler which is being connected throughout the length of train to command the train from the running cab it is the front cab we have auxiliary supply to supply the various control system requirement and running of uh, uh, fans and supplying power to bulbs many auxiliary systems are there and we have a compressor for air brake system so now we discuss the propulsion system of demo so basically we have a power pack that is generating power the driving power car has a single power pack consisting of a diesel engine uh, the kta 50l is a type of engine cummins engine complete with brushless attraction alternator and matching exciter rotating rectifier set this means we have a power pack that is generating the power and the output of the engine is through its crankshaft and one brushless traction alternator is coupled with the engine on this crankshaft so the alternator uh, is all the rotor of alternator is also rotating and it produces the ac power the required ac power for traction rectification the three phase ac output obtained from the alternator is rectified by the three phase bridge rectifier to get dc output this main rectifier is modular in construction and under frame mounted feeding dc supply to the traction motors so we have a uh, uh, we have a exciter which supply the field current to the alternator and when we get the three phase output ac output from the alternator it is being fed to the three phase bridge rectifier to convert the ac output into a dc output because in 1400 hv demo we have dc traction motor at the wheel set on the axle so now this dc uh, power output from the rectifier is being fed to the traction motor we will see the uh, photographs of power pack and uh, rectifier later on in this slide this is a typical power pack of demo you can see it here we have 16 cylinder and uh, on top you can see the exhaust and there are two numbers of turbo supercharger so i am not going into details just to have a look this power rectifier unit mounted under the under carriage here one side you have you can see the ac input there is a rectifier cubicle and we get the dc output four axle mounted self ventilated traction motors are mounted on two bogies of the dpc the motors are permanently connected in four parallel combination utilizing the full capability of the traction alternator output thus eliminating combination change and field weakening operation 
there exists a provision of isolation up to two traction motors in event of a traction motors becomes faulty. Of inside view of traction motor. Control system, excitation and load control module ELCM system that is called is designed to operate in conjunction with brushless alternator and Woodward make EG 3P EG1 PC type fuel actuator mounted on the diesel engine. Excitation control regulates the alternator excitation by regulating the current to the excited stator on any given notch in such a way that constant kilowatt output from the alternator and thus a constant horsepower is obtained from the diesel engine even with varying current output fed to the traction motor. In addition, ELCM also controls the diesel engine speed and maintains it constant on a particular notch from full unloading to full loading by regulating the current to the actuator coil controlling the fuel supply to the engine. Various protection features are incorporated to indicate the various faults that may occur and take necessary corrective action. Basically, mechanical any engine is it gives maximum efficiency when it is run at a fixed speed. So we in, in diesel engine we have eight notches, eight different step of speed. So we keep engine RPM fix at every notch through governor. We have a unit called governor which keep the speed of the engine fix by controlling the supply of fuel. So governor uh, is being controlled through the control system and the excitation to alternator you see as per the load is being controlled so that engine doesn't get overload and it should match with the requirement of the load so it controls the excitation of alternator and thus the thus the output of the alternator so it uh, does multiple function i am not going into details but We also have various protection features for the safety of our engine and heavy components which are very costly. We have a belt driven compressor at the non-traction alternate end of the engine is provided to supply compressed air at the required rate at 8 kg per centimeter square at idling speed of the diesel engine for the braking system. Compressor used is TRC2507 of EL LG make. So air is being uh, compressed at the rate of 8 kg and in our braking system the pressure used is 5 kg. So we have a, a main reservoir tank where we store this compressed air and from where the air is supplied to the drain pipe, braking pipe. Some fix of assemblies, compressor, traction motor, traction alternator, intercooler, which is used in uh, compressor to cool the compressed air. This is inside view of engine room. We can see here the alternator connected with the engine. So this area is very much congested and we have uh, one ventilation fan on the roof to suck out the heat of the chamber and to maintain the temperature inside the engine room below 55 degree. The meter end of power pack engine and here is, we can see the coupling where alternator is being coupled to the engine crankshaft. 
This is the belt drive which connects traction alternator to the auxiliary alternator for running of auxiliary alternator. 100 horsepower demo that has been recently introduced in our system. Maximum speed is 120 kmph. Initial acceleration is 0.47 meter per second square. Passenger capacity 10 car consists 900 sitting, 1800 standing, and we have 14 laboratories. Engine 1600 HP, 1800 RPM, and engine is of cumins or caterpillar made. Auxiliary alternator and compressor directly coupled. We have some arrangement different from 1400 HP demo. Alternator 1.1 megawatt 1800 rpm synchronous alternator with inbuilt exciter. We have traction converter 2 units 550 kilowatt per unit under frame mounted IGBT based and forced air cooled 32 bit DSP based traction computers bogey control. Basically, this con what's the DC power into AC power which is being supplied to AC induction motors AC induction traction motors AC traction motors 250 kilowatt 3000 rpm self ventilated axle hung no suspended controls microprocessor based wheel control computer WTV train communication network driver desk complete with 10.4 inch TFT LCD display screen with and various controls. So this is one of the advanced you can say the feature that we have already in our high horsepower locomotive and also we have uh, AC AC transmission in uh, modern EMUs. So it is same only difference is the power producing unit here we have a diesel engine. Let's consider some of the advantages of 1600 HP demo. Increased power rating of demo from 1400 to 1600. Increased seating capacity 200 to 350 seating capacity per unit more. Longer trains up to 20 car cars per train set. Improved control and fault diagnostics. Flexibility in selection of engine and vehicle equipment. Increased acceleration and shorter waking distance, reduced breakdown and maintenance requirement. Since AC AC traction is very much maintenance friendly and require very less maintenance, also failures are very less. Other features of 1600 HP demo is implementation of fuel efficient solutions such as common rail electronic fuel injection it is high level of transmission efficiencies train speed of up to 120 kmph for 20 car consists and higher speed for a smaller consists adherence to a standard emission control norms and applicable procedures dc traction is highly maintenance demo converted to igbt based low maintenance and high performance ac traction with advanced controls and enhanced power rating One more thing recently happened with demo is the paneling of roof with solar panel. This is the rake inaugurated by Sakurbasti demo set the year 2017. 1600 HP demo train with solar powered coaches with a unique facility of battery bank was inaugurated in July 2017. The entire electrical need of the coaches for lighting, fans and information display system is being met from the solar energy produced from the solar panels fitted in the roof of coaches. While this train has been manufactured by the coach factory of Indian Railways namely Integral Coach Factory ICF Chennai, its solar panel and solar systems has been developed and fitted by Indian Railways 
Organization of Alternative Fuel IROF Delhi. This first wreck has been commissioned and based at Sakurbasti demo shed in Delhi of Northern Railway. A solar powered demo train with six trailer coach will save about 21,000 liters of diesel and thereby brings cost saving of rupees 12 lakh every year. Saving for a 10 coach rack with 8 trailer coaches will increase proportionately. These benefits will continue for entire 25 years lifetime of the rack. This will help in making demo commuter service better, more economical and environment friendly. The very first CNG fitted demos were run by Sakurbasti said also. We have also demos running on mix of CNG and diesel. We have fitted CNG kits and there is a target to increase the component of running of demo on CNG up to 20%. So here we have the periodicity of maintenance of engine, electricals, controls and brake equipment. Trip schedule are being done at the end of each trip. Maximum 7 days. We are doing uh, trip schedule at 7 days. Monthly schedule 1 month. Quarterly schedule every 3 months. Half yearly schedule 6 months. And 18 months schedule 18 months. That is also a called POH. Type and periodicity of schedules of coach body under frame, bogey assembly, brake rigging, primary, daily, or on seven days basis. Schedule A one month, schedule B three months, schedule C six months, POH eighteen months. Periodic overhauling of major items. Q means engine after 1800 hours based upon performance parameter, traction motors at every 18 months, traction alternators at every 36 months, compressors 18 months, coach body and under gear at 18 months at a time of periodic overhaul. That's all from my side. I hope you have enjoyed my session. Thank you.